wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of sweet friends and welcome back. My name is Nicole Cole. Today I wanted to share with you all my Facebook marketplace find. I paid $48 for this piece and I'm going to tweak it just a little bit and put it in a room that you and I are going to decorate together. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's dive in and let's get to decorating. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I have this cabinet. Hey, baby bear. But it's upside down right now. I've taken off the legs and then I am going to cut it here across. That is the exact depth of that right there. I am loving the shelf in here. I hated this corner in the bathroom. It just looked like it was always lacking something. When I found this piece on uh, Facebook, I was so ecstatic. But my thought was originally, when I cut this piece off, that I could attach it on the front, but it doesn't work out right. It's, it's not, my dad says we can probably cut this piece off right here and put it across this front piece, but I'll have to do that later because I'm going to need help doing that. I can't do that myself, <laughs> but I can decorate. So I did want to kind of cover that area so nobody sees it. So I have a dolly of my great grandmother's that I am going to just place in that right there just to soften up that line. I know that you still see that, you know, it's rough right there. But I think my decor is going to kind of take away from that, hopefully. Now, I do want to add some blue and white. I have this set with the man and the woman and the little table I want to add in. And then I have some blue and white stuff. So, I'm going to try to do one shelf at a time and or i may just back up and just do it all at once and that way y'all can see how my mind works that way y'all get the bottom half and you can see how i work so if then let me just say for instance so if i'm working on a piece and i have a tall piece here i don't want a tall piece here i want a tall piece over here so i try to variate how i do my decor but i do want to use this and this is short so I think that I want to put it down here. And they have a little table with a little tea set on it. So that is my blue down there, my one blue. Now I want to do one church in that area. So let me see, I've got all kinds of churches up here. What do I want to do? I have this little church. I have the Cat's Meow Church. I have this really pretty gray church, but look, it doesn't fit. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to play with it and just see, see to me that looks off. Let's try this one. That doesn't look bad. This is my church bathroom. That doesn't look bad. Let's move to the next shelf so I can kind of get a feel of what I want to do. I do want to put some books in there. So I have a green book and I have an old Bible that I want to use. And I want to turn it where you can see that it is a Bible. And I think I want to do my gray church there. Now see, I have a church there. I wonder if I could do this. Hmm. 
I'm liking it, but it needs more color. So maybe I need to put something blue over here. That's a little big. I do have a little coffee cup that I could put there. That is sweet. Since I have blue, blue, I'm gonna go across, see? So I'm gonna go up with my blue there, but it, it needs something right there. And I'm wondering, I know I have this one centered, but I could easily move it to the left or right to give me a different symmetry, if that makes sense. I have another book. I'm gonna put that behind here. It's a neutral book, so I should be okay with that. have this beautiful little church. And to get it to stand up in there, I think I'm going to use a block in the back if I can. And you can tell I have broken stuff this way, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. Now, I can put my blue piece, I could even do my blue piece up here, but I think I like it better down. And then my little, where'd I put that? Good gracious. All right, so I put that one there. I could do this slightly over, move this back to the center. I have this really pretty wooden candle holder and I know it's a different color but look at the color variation how pretty is that let's put some greenery these are some super small half spheres love anything half sphere so I'm going to put that right there pop of color it's absolutely perfect and it's like I need excuse me I need something with some whimsy and I love collecting little bunny rabbits so I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'll keep playing with it till I get it the way I want it. I do have this large, and I am going to put it up top. There's the piece up top, so y'all can see it. And I have this really sweet sign, and I'm thinking about putting it right here. I want something blue. So I love the churches in there. And I love the blue in there. But it's like I need more pops of blue. really small. My bunny almost looks out of place. I have 
some more churches. Maybe I need to mix in some more of the churches. So I edited and redone and edited and redone. And I think I like the concept. And you can see I have a doily on the bottom, a doily in the middle. And then I kind of zigzagged the blue across the piece. There are some variations, but I love the look of it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me just back up so y'all can see it in this bathroom. So I'm telling y'all, when you go through a piece, if you'll step back and take a picture of it, it will make more sense to you of how it needs to look. Is this how it's gonna stay? Probably, probably not, I'm being honest with you. But I did tweak it a little bit more. I, it looks dark in the back and I may eventually paint this piece, but I wanna leave the real wood. I think it's beautiful. In here, it gives it that rustic vintage feel that I love, but I added doilies on the bottom and the middle to bring your eye all the way up. And let me say, if you invest in some doilies, that is the best money you will spend. They are very inexpensive. Now, like I said, the one on the bottom is my, grand, my great grandmother's, so that's very sentimental to me. So, um, and then you can see, and I'm going to point, so there's the blue, blue, blue. You see how it's zigzagging up the piece pretty much? That carries your eye across the piece. I think this is really pretty in this bathroom, and you're probably going to see me in the, in the, um, mirror there, but this bathroom has turned out so sweet. I have added some more pictures and I'm gonna turn around. I did add my three church pictures in here. I think they're gorgeous in here. Um, I love this little bathroom now. I love my countertops in here, but I do wanna share another area with you guys. So let's go on over and look at that. I love this project. I'm not finished with it. I'm never finished with anything. <laughs> So, but I like how this turned out. Let's move to that other So this bathroom, I kind of finished by myself because we had company this past weekend and I wanted to share it with you guys. I did get my piece from Target. I love that cabinet. It worked perfect in this bathroom. The little rugs are, I think it was called cornflower blue. I love this blue color. Bought them off of Amazon. Now this, I'm using as a full length mirror and it is, it has the hinges on it and everything. So what it was, it was on a, um, oh, a wardrobe, I believe. And I thought, wow, that would be a great full length mirror in the bathroom. So hence full length mirror from a door on an old antique wardrobe. And then uh, I had some of this uh, artwork in our dining room, or actually our breakfast room, and I brought it in here. I thought it would be sweet just to have some quotes for in the morning where you would feel good about the day. But I, this has some storage down below, and I'll show it to you. So it has some good storage down below, which is really nice. But then I have some area to display some things which I thought was really cute. Look here in this ironstone bowl. I did the cold and hot uh, spigot knobs. I thought those were sweet. Just added a little candle holder with some greenery. There's another great bowl. I did find these at a local thrift store. That is the sugar holder, but I put Q-tips in there. And then up top, is um this is another ironstone uh, 
little vase that I thought that would be sweet in here. And then I have a slot bucket. Y'all may not know what that is, but we won't go into detail. And then I have this piece that I bought from a thrift store. It has the old looking hangers on it. But what I used that for was for them to hang their towels on. So down below, and you might see the toilet, and I'm so sorry, but we did a new one in here, so I'm very, pr I'm very proud of it. But I just took a piece of wood and mounted it from uh, stud to stud, and then I put the t paper towel. So that was gonna drive me crazy, but I, <laughs> I did a, uh, you see what I did to my toilet paper? So I have a piece of wood from stud to stud. I screwed it into the wall. I added a little basket with some toilet paper and some smell good and our toilet paper holder. And I thought that was really cute for in the corner over here. But these little rugs from Amazon are so stinking sweet. Corn flower blue, Amazon. The mirror came from Amazon. The towel rack. Now I had this wood piece here. I just added this on top of it so I could have it hanging out. I thought that was really sweet. These are some towels that I already had, guys. So I just used what I had. But I think this bathroom turned out super sweet. I do want something to go over this area here. I haven't made my mind up and I wasn't just gonna hang something up to be hanging. But love the little full length mirror idea. I thought it was sweet. I'm so glad that I got to share this with you guys today. So glad to speak with you guys again today. And I hope y'all have an awesome week. And I hope to see y'all Saturday. Love y'all much.